Hey everyone, welcome to the Curious Girl Diaries podcast. I'm Layla London, aka The Curious Girl. Now just to let you know, this podcast is not suitable for work. It's also not suitable for anybody under 18. But the rest of you consenting adults, let's get ready to talk about my sex life, sex in general, and everything in between in explicit, raunchy, fun detail. All right, here we go. Hello, everyone. All right, I wanted to talk about hooking up on the internet. I know I've mentioned this before, and I get a lot of questions about this, so I thought it'd be just an appropriate subject to talk about um, because it's in depth. I can't. It's hard, you know, it's hard to just answer it quickly. So I, I can, you know, I can actually cover some ground on this, and I think it'll be helpful to some of you that um, have messaged me about this and want to know, you know, kind of how I do it what my system is. And, you know, I think I I get a lot of feedback from people that aren't really having that much luck. Um, so hopefully this, you know, this might help may or may not help, but, um, first thing is, and I know I've said this before is I run this like a business. It's systematic. And when you run something like a business guys, you have to really put, you know, time, effort, and energy into it. And you kind of have to limit that because it can't, you know, there's the other side of that is it can be a total time suck and everybody's got their regular lives that they're doing and, you know, jobs and all that. And this really can become like a job. The reason I've put so much effort and energy into it, obviously, is because I made it a goal. So anything that, you know, I say I'm going to do and I kind of go on record and say I'm going to do, yeah, you know, I take it pretty seriously. So I think that's, you know, that's been why, you know, I've had so many um, you know, successful, I guess, meetups or encounters. And then also, you know, from those, you naturally find your way to some really good, you know, f- f- friends with benefits, which is what I'm, you know, ultimately uh, after. It's not, you know, I mean, I don't want to keep doing this all the time. Um, and the faster I can kind of cycle people through, um, you know, the, the weeding and sorting process, then, you know, I can get down to the good stuff. So, um, I'm on two sites. One for me has been dramatically better than the other. Um, it's interesting because the one site that you would think would be better, um, isn't. And, um, one site I would say is, it's going to be every freaking Yahoo on the planet. And then the other site is, I think, a little more selective of a crowd. Um, but I have better luck at the site that, you know, where it's every man for himself. <laughs> where like, yeah, It's just, I think there's just, maybe there, it's the volume, the numbers. Um, I'm not sure. But what I kind of find is, you know, one one site I'm able to, you know, move people along faster. And then the other site almost seems like a lot of, I don't know if you want to call them tire kickers. That might be a good way to put it where they're just, um, you know, they're just like, they want to message back and forth a lot, but they don't know how to close the deal. And, you know, I'm not going to do it for you. I mean, you're, you're the man for God's sakes, you know, you have the penis. I don't. So, um, you know, if you can't do that, that tells me right there that just, we wouldn't be, we wouldn't be good friends with benefits anyway, because I still, you know, it's important for me, you know, that the man be the man and knows how to do that. And so it kind of helps me self-eliminate there. But I, but on the, you know, on that one side, you know, that I, that I don't get, as many results from, I do get some good ones. And so, you know, it's worth keeping around. Um, just as far as the contact goes, um, I don't reach out to the guys. I've only, there's been three guys I've only ever reached out to. Um, one of those guys, um, was Clark and I mean, Jesus Christ, I'm so glad I did that. (laughs) Um, that was a good decision. And, um, and then the second guy was HJ and we didn't li- we don't live close, but, um, I'm glad I did that too, because, you know, great guy, um, really just the distance, you know, 
uh, wasn't, um, you know, going to be the right thing. Um, but great to talk to and I mean, all the right stuff. It's just, you know, it's impractical if you want, I mean, really to be, to have that friends with benefits dynamic, it's, you know, it's just harder to do. So, um, and that was good because that also taught me about, you know, even it's interesting, even just guys that are like 60 miles away or 30 miles away, it really gets, it does get impractical. I mean, you know, you kind of, you, for me, you know, you need to be, you need to be close, you know, not, and it's certainly not that I don't mind flying out to see somebody. I mean, I've done it. I'll do it again. It's fun. You know, or taking a trip with somebody I, that is fun. Um, but you know, you need to have sort of a common stomping ground that you guys can, uh, you know, play in. Um, that's where you're easily accessible, accessible to each other. And it's not like, okay, let me get on a plane. Okay. You know, you got to go through all these gyrations. So that kind of, uh, you know, that didn't work out well. And then the third, the third guy was, um, my friend, the guy that we ended up, the guy that I reference all the time on these podcasts, we ended up just after talking to each other and really like getting in depth and, um, because he doesn't live local either. And this is when I still kind of hadn't really figured out that, you know, local, not local dynamic. Um, but after talking, I was like, shit. I mean, I just like this guy so much. Like, I don't know that we want to f- fuck this up by having sex with each other. <laughs> so we've stayed platonic and, um, you know, I'm so glad because honestly, I mean, he's like really literally is just like, I feel like he's like the male version of me. Although I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to actually give him some props and say a more highly evolved male version of me. Um, because I just, you know, he's the kind of guy, he's the guy I like lean on and say, you know, what do you think of this? Or I, you know, I always run stuff, you know, by him and say, you know, give me your thoughts. And he always has a really good opinion. So, um, anyhow, so that's, those are the three, only three times I've ever, you know, messaged somebody first. Um, the rest, I just, you know, um, I let, you know, I let the guys message me. Um, and, and that works out really well. And the, you know, the thing about that is it's the, the sites that I'm on, there's definitely more guys than girls. So in that respect, you know, I do kind of have the advantage or women, not just me, but women have the advantage in the fact that, you know, they can just kind of sit back and let their inbox fill up. Um, there's two ways of looking at that. I mean, you could say, um, you know, if you're doing, I, I, I feel like when I am doing the picking, I pick well. Um, but for me to sit there and do all these searches and read through everything, you know, it really at this point, you know, is a little, it, it's a little impractical as I move forward, maybe I'll switch it up and start, you know, let that be kind of how I do things and experiment with it. Who knows? But it definitely takes more time. And so I do, it's one, this is, this is one, um, way where I can just turn it on autopilot, you know, and kind of, like I said, let the messages come in and then, you know, start sifting and sorting, um, from there. So when the messages do come in, you know, I'm really just trying to, I'm really just trying to eliminate, you know, as fast as I can, like either get somebody to self-eliminate or, you know, find something straight out off the bat that I can just say, nope. And, you know, and I'll just send that message. Now I do try to respond to everyone. And I think I probably have about, it's probably about 85% that, you know, that I'll respond to. Sometimes if I'm really just overwhelmed, you know, and, you know, and I just did not, there was nothing about your profile that spoke to me or whatever. Um, I'll just delete you. But for the most part, I really just try to say, even if, as long as it's a decent message and, you know, so 15%, some of those are just goofy, you know, I mean, goofy dick pics, you know, you know, whatever, whatever they're coming at me with. So, you know, the, the opening line is just so bad. I'm like, I can't even, 
you know, I can't even, that can't, there's no thank you. I can't say thank you, you know? So if I can't say thank you, I can't at least say thank you, then um, I'll just delete you. But for the most part, um, you know, I'll try to, if someone sends me a halfway decent message, you know, even if it's, Hey, how are you? How was your weekend? You know, I'll say, great, you know, thank you. And leave it at that. It's just one response. And then sometimes, you know, someone takes that as they understand that that's just me being polite. Sometimes there's a follow-up. If there's a follow-up, you know, I may or may, there's a 50, about a 40 or 50% response rate for me at that point. But it's generally, again, it's just to politely try to say, thank you, but you know, not interested. If there's, if I can give a reason straight out of the gate, um, you know, the biggest reasons in my nose are, are, you know, height, um, their status, they're married, separated, um, attached, you know, in a relationship, whatever. I don't want to get involved in any of that. It's not my thing. Um, and so either they're, you know, they're, they're not hitting my, my height requirement, their status or, um, or their age, you know, a lot of times they're too young. You know, we, I've talked about this, like how young am I going to go? Um, there was just, I just sent a response earlier today to somebody that was 26 and I just said, you know, a really cute guy. I mean, it's tempting. <laughs> it's very tempting. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, yeah. Very, very tempting. But, you know, I mean, come on. Seriously. I just, it's like, I can't do it. I cannot go there. It's, I, that for me, I am getting into the creeper zone. I don't want to go to the creeper zone. So, um, I, you know, so again, I, you know, I, you know, or, or too old. There's also, um, you know, there's too young or too old. Um, um, you know, I get guys that are, uh, 20 years older than me. Um, you know, even 15 years, I mean, things like that, you know, it, what I've noticed is, or what I've started to realize is that, um, unlike as, when I was a younger lady, um, I'm not as attracted to the guys that, that have the big age gap anymore. You know, when you're 20 and you like a 35 year old, that's okay. Or even, you know, 39, something like that. But I don't know when that, I don't know when that kind of just dawned on me now that I'm older, but, um, you know, I don't want to necessarily, you know, be, I don't want to be dating someone that, you know, is closer to my mom's age or my dad's age than my age. Um, so something about that just isn't, isn't for me anymore. Um, so I, you know, I, I try to be polite again and just say, you know, Hey, that's a little on my, you know, a little out of my age range. Um, but if I, but so when I do touch on somebody that, you know, it's, they're interesting, like I read their profile, I'm like, okay, good. They send me face pics, you know, I can find, you know, I can see what they look like. Um, then, um, I try to move it forward quickly, you know, just a few message exchanges are fine. And then I try to move it on to texting. And then, um, you know, and then from there, you know, I like to talk, talk with somebody on the phone. It's really important to hear somebody's voice. I'll tell you what. I, I get on the phone with people and I'm like, I hear the voice. And I'm like, Oh God, no. Like I couldn't, I couldn't listen to that voice in bed. you like, I couldn't have that person. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, just, just saying, talking dirty to me, whispering my ear in that voice. <laughs> so, um, that's a biggie for me. Um, there's just certain tones and dialects that I just do not like. And you can tell a lot about a person by the way they talk, by the way they enunciate their, um, you know, their vocabulary, you know, it just, it says a lot. So hearing somebody on the phone is for me important. And then from there, I like to set up a meeting that is a non, you know, that's not going to lead to sex. It's just like a coffee or a quick drink or something, even dinner is fine, lunch, whatever. But, but it's understood that, you know, we're not just going to go sit and meet and then go to a hotel room right after this. Um, I have made a few exceptions to that. I think I've noted those in previous podcasts. You know, if I've spent a lot of time on the phone with somebody, uh, you know, a lot of time on the phone with somebody, then I, I can kind of make that judgment call. I can tell. Um, because just by chatting with them, I'm already like, I'm already really interested. My interest level has gone, you know, from a five to, you know, a 
8.5. Um, and I can just tell that, you know, I'm fairly certain that if I go there, I won't have to be embarrassed or uncomfortable by saying, you know, I know you got a hotel room, but I think we should scrap that idea. Um, so, so I go and I just meet him and I'm just really just testing the chemistry because you got to see somebody chat with them for a bit, you know, look in their eyes, get to know them, watch their body language, the way they're dressed. I mean, just everything, you know, you're, I'm checking out every little minute detail. Um, and, and then, you know, and then if, and then, and then if I like them, then, you know, then we'll move forward and, you know, set up a time to, uh, you know, have a physical encounter. Um, and I find that this is, you know, this is really the best way, um, you know, to do things. I mean, I, you know, I do not want, I mean, I certainly have made my mistakes with this, right? I mean, you know, I've mentioned this before, the ugly fucking, I don't want any more ugly fucking, you know, I could have avoided that situation entirely. Um, and, you know, again, it just meeting somebody face to face, talking to him on the phone, like these, this helps you with all of your, you know, hit checking off all your boxes and also, you know, weeding out the creepy factor, you know, because there's creepy people out there, you know, there just are. And, you know, men and women, it's not one-sided, but you know, you want to be safe and you want to, you know, make a informed decision before you go off to some location to get physical with someone. And, you know, you don't have a whole lot of time to, uh, the way I'm doing it, you know, you don't have a whole lot of time to really put all that together. A lot of it's, you know, instinct and, and gut feel. So, um, um, oh, the the other thing too, is when you're going to meet a just as a general rule, like I, when I'm going to meet, meet up with somebody, I never host. And I think this for women is, so the gals that are listening to me, this is a flat out, no, no, do not do. Um, I think that, I mean, guys, I know guys need to be, I'm not trying to slight the guys in any way because you can get some, you know, crazy, crazy cuckoo birds. I know they're out there. I hear it from guys all the time. Every guy I've ever met has, you know, some crazy cuckoo bird story. But, um, but the thing with, you know, that, that for me with what I've come across is I think that, you know, the difference for the, for the females or what's been my experience is that the, those in crazy cuckoo birds, you know, are putting your, you physically at risk. Um, you know, the generally speaking, you know, unless the woman dramatically outweighs you and is taller and can overpower you, it's, it's the other way around. So, you know, it's really just a smart thing. You know, you don't want to put yourself in any kind of physical harm's way. And, the, you know, I've never hosted and I've been doing this quite fine, quite well, quite successfully without ever having somebody come to my home and know where I live. And, um, I just think that that's, you know, I think that's, I think it's really important for women. So I hope that, um, you know, the women out there, you know, take that to heart and, you know, kind of give it some thought and, you know, look over time, depending on your circumstances, you, you know, you may find it appropriate. I'm not saying that things don't change. Dynamics don't shift, but definitely in the beginning, you know, no way, no, 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 no way. So you really, really want to be, you know, safe. Um, and that's basically, you know, that's basically the process. Uh, I get on, you know, I'll get on line usually early mornings and try to just bang out a bunch of email responses. Um, and then, you know, and move, you know, move it along. And I keep, I try to keep for me, <laughs> I try to keep my, my, inbox as clean and clear as possible. So the, the guys that I'm chatting with that I'm interested in, or maybe I just started chatting, texting with, I keep those emails and their face pick and everything so that I can remember, you know, who it is. And I know that sounds awful, but you know, sometimes you're chatting with 10 guys at once, uh, you know, that have moved to the texting. And so, um, 
you know, you have to keep everybody straight and it doesn't take me, I mean, I, I'm good about it. It doesn't take me very long, but you know, so I, so what I want to do is just clear out, you know, anybody that's not, you know, that I'm not interested in, you know, and get, and cause your inbox will fill up. I mean, it just, and then you can't find, it's pushing all these other ones down and you can't find the guys, you know, you want to talk to and you're like, wait, who is that? What, what did I say there? And anyway, <laughs> it gets a little confusing. And as a side note, only there was only one time, and I'm really good with, um, you know, names and faces. And there was only one time that I ever um, called somebody by the wrong name when I when I went to meet them, and I was so embarrassed um, because I normally don't do that, and there was really no reason to do that. It just, you know, I was just having a busy day, and anyway, um, and that guy. That guy, I still chat with him from time to time, and he's such a good guy, and he he knows who he is. When he listens to this, he'll probably message me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That was just stupid. Um, but that's the only time I've ever done that, and it's just really just a matter of, you know, again, I because I'm systematic about all this, I can and do keep it straight, but, um, you know, yeah, that was not, a uh, not a good moment for me where, where I think I called him Chris. <laughs> oh, anyway, um, he, his name is not Chris, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, anyway, he's, he's a, he is a really good guy. So, um, a sexy guy too. So it, it's not like I'll ever make that mistake again. <laughs> Anyhow, so I think that probably about sums it up. Um, I'm trying to see. Let me look, and I'm going to open up right now to see if there's anything interesting to chat about. Oh, that guy's kind of cute. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Um. Anyway, so I. My goodness gracious. Um. So I got on, let's see, I got on this morning and cleared everything out. So I had no messages left or no unanswered messages and just not even being online. I have, um, within like three hours, I've got six, six. So, um, yes, very, very interesting. One guy, oh, here's, I know, I, I shouldn't, I should not read people's messages, but this guy says this again, this is not the right way to go about it. I'd love to go down on you today at lunch. Shall I come see you? <sighs> okay. You're not coming to my house. That's, this is the second time he said, shall I come by? Shall I come see you? Uh, the, my first response to him was a thank you. And, um, uh, being polite, there's nothing wrong with him. He's a decent looking guy. Um, but now this, but now the set and the first message it was definitely more vanilla. And now this one is, he wants to go down on me today at lunch. I'm going to spend just a little bit of time here. Uh, hopefully telling some guys or maybe educating some guys on the fact that women like to be courted. I don't care that this is a hookup site. I know there's penises and vaginas all over this site. Tits, boobs, asses, you know, gangbangs, the whole freaking kit and caboodle. But still, most women want to be treated like women. So when you lead with, you know, do you want to suck my cock? You know, you come out of the gate with, shall I go down on you? And at least she said, you know, it, at least his grand, I'd love to go down on you today at lunch. Okay. That's not super offensive, but still it's not the best thing to lead with. Why don't you try to get to know me a little bit? Or, you know, I say that my website's on here. You know who gets my attention? I'll tell you who gets my attention. The guys they'll, that actually read my profile and they'll make a comment on it. It's so guys, this is so easy, so easy and so obvious. Trust me read one paragraph. 
Don't strain your brains too much if you don't if you don't want to sit there. I know some women. I've seen some long ones. Trust me, I know mine. Mine is not long. It's I try to make it as concise as I can to kind of point people in the right direction. Like, hey, if you want to get to know more about me, here's how you do it. But just make a comment on what she's already commented on. This is kind of conversation 101, right? You notice and then you comment. You notice and then you comment. And you know, we women love that. We absolutely love that. You know, I mean, you're like, oh, hey, somebody's paying attention. Yay. Right? It makes us feel good. So there's an easy tip. Um, God, you know, I I'm going to get off. I know I'm getting starting to get on my soapbox about this, but I feel like there's so many guys. I look at their profiles and I've even said in some of my responses to people, some of the responses I send every once in a while, are like, you know, you, you look like, a, you know, I know that person's not for me, but I'll say, Hey, you know, um, it, that profile picture, if you change it out with your other one, that other, that's a better one to lead with, not the one you have up, you know, where you're like with your bros, you know, grabbing a tit, you know, at some car show. <laughs> I mean, really? Okay. I don't know. What? What is that about? I, I don't, you know, I like, I look at people's, I look at what they say and I'm like, God, I could rewrite that really fast. I could rewrite what your verbiage right there that you put. And I could just make that so much better, but I, but that's not my job. But I tell you what, if if what I do now just doesn't work out, then I think I have a backup plan here. I could make a lot of money, like, helping guys get laid. <laughs> I'll be their little, uh, you know, online coach. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting, uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes I just want to help people out. I'm like, oh, honey, let me, you know, and I do. I try to, <laughs> I try to give my, I know it's unsolicited advice, but if I give it to you, Trust me, take me up. I mean, just like consider it because I know what I'm talking about um, when it comes to this, you know, this, this online stuff. But anyway, well, there you have it. That's, that's kind of how I, um, that's how I roll with this. And, um, you know, you, again, it's like fast and furious trying to just sift and sort, eliminate, eliminate, eliminate. And then the guys that you like, you know, move them to the next phase and, you know, let's try to start meeting, you know, and, and it has to be, you know, if you want to have, I think if you want to have success at this and not just get, feel like this process doesn't work, you kind of have to, um, run it this way, which is, it sounds, you know, I, I can, I can understand if it sounds a little harsh or crass, you know, or, um, unpersonal, but, you know, to get to the people that ultimately, you know, you'd like to be sexual with, you really have to um, move quickly and, um, and you know, and, and not spend any time on the ones that you know for sure that, you know, you don't want to. So there you go. Um, again, as always, thank you for listening. And any questions or comments? please send those to curiousgirl at thecuriousgirldiaries.com.